Memphis in March and the Memphis Hustle. Rio Grande Valley coached by Mahmoud Abdul Fatah. Both coaches in their third years with their respective teams. On Tuesday night, it was the Hustle winning at 116 to 92, handing the Vipers their first loss of the season. The Vipers at 8 and 1, and the Hustle moved above 500, 5 and 4. Hustle still in a running for a spot in the Showcase Cup tournament coming up in a couple weeks just before Christmas in Las Vegas. And the first basket of the game is scored by Khalil Whitney, making his first start of the season and gets the bucket right off the bat. He only averages a point and a half per game, so yeah. he's already beat his average. <laughs> well, and he, he just matched his total from the other night, so. <laughs> Stockton on a drive, got bumped. No call, and it's a turnover by the Hustle in their first possession. That is something you cannot do against this team. They force a lot of turnovers. They force 23 of them a game. They turn it over 21 times themselves. Last in the league in turnovers for themselves. First in the league in forcing turnovers. Stockton going to the paint. Cannot hit the shot. Gillespie keeps it alive, and Stockton able to control. Shaq Buchanan for three, and that one's off the mark. That's a good job by Tyler Bay to contest that. Lamb will try a three. Anthony Lamb, who is nearly a 50% three-point shooter, knocks down his first one here. He's one for two. Stockton can't answer. Long rebound. Freddie Gillespie, 19 rebounds for Gillespie on Tuesday. A new hustle franchise record. This yeah, one yeah. poked away, and that'll be a foul called on Tyler Bay. Gillespie with that 19 rebound performance now up to 11.3 rebounds per game, which is good for second in the league. Still leads the league in blocks as well. Also still looking for their first points of the game here. Baseline drive, Stockton goes to the reverse and up and in. David Stockton gets the hustle on the board. Very nice, found the right angle. His father would be proud. Dacian Nix quickly back the other way, gets to the rim and puts it in. You know, Dacian Nix, we talked a lot about him the other night. One of the guys who, uh, of the visiting players that we've seen come in here, only three teams, Mexico City, Lakeland, and now Rio Grande Valley, but he's definitely been, I think, one of the more impressive players. Just 19 years old, played with the Ignite last year. Caver on the drive, up and over Anthony Lamb, Ahmad Caver, his first two. Poked away from Lamb, Reggie Hearn, as Bay will try the three, and Tyler Bay, who was 0 for 6 the other night, 2 for 16 on the season from three, knocks that one down, and now we get a whistle and a foul. Here on this one's going to be, they're going to get Bay. Hey, Bay, Bay. So Bay gets the three on one end, picks up the foul on the other. Offensive foul called on Freddie Gillespie. It looked like the Viper player right grabbed his by the right. waist. How is that on Freddie Gillespie? I do not understand either. Wow. That's a tough call. And now we're going to get a loose ball foul. That will go against Nix as he and Hearn battling for the basketball. They'll get Nix for the foul that time, and Hustle will get it back. Bit of a slow start here for the Hustle. Just four points in the first two and a half minutes. There are seven players available for the Hustle. Now, Rio Grande Valley has more players available. They are very shorthanded as well. They are missing their really two best players as Hearn gets inside and scoops it up with the left hand. Nice hezzy right there by Reggie Hearn. He's a guy that Hustle really need to step up tonight. Beautiful no-look pass into the corner, but the shot won't go for Marcus Foster. 
Gillespie against the double team, had it knocked away, but he's able to regain control. Hearn from the corner, had a good night the other night in his return from injury, three for four from three-point range and 17 points. It starts off in good fashion tonight with five early ones. Yeah, I remember those first couple games, he was not making shots, and I was like, I know he's a better player than this. We've seen it over the years when he's played for other teams, such as Reno and Reggie Hearn. These two games, he has come out blazing. It's his eighth season in the G League. He's 17th all-time in scoring, right behind David Stockton, who gave him the pass right there to knock down that three. Good. By G League standards, especially, you talk about a veteran backcourt or veteran players. If you got Stockton and Hearn both out there, that's 15 combined years of G League basketball. As the little floater is good by Foster. Over 6,000 G League points between Hearn and Stockton. Stockton with a nice crossover gets inside, nobody there, and it's an easy layup for David Stockton. He's got four. Bay will try another three. And it's tipped up by Nick, still won't go. And the rebound grabbed by Hearn. Step back three by Caver goes down. Ahmad Caver, two for two from the field. He's got five. Hustle shooting it well early on. It's six for nine from the field, two for four from deep. Just right in his face. Face! Corner three goes down that time for Anthony Lamb. Again, you just can't leave him open. Seventh in the league in three point shooting, 49% coming in. Two for three now tonight. Stockton, again, working in the paint, had it poked away. But Gillespie there can't hit the little jump hook. Lamb again. No. Finally missed. Shaq Buchanan his way to the basket. Does a little flex after oh. knocking that one in. Says this is a flex zone. And there will be a delay of game warning against the Hustle as they knock the ball away there after it came through the basket. The Hustle need this game tonight. They need a, a win here to keep themselves right there in the running for the oh, Showcase oh Cup tournament. Gosh. Rio Grande Valley, they're in great position regardless at 8-1. and one. They haven't clinched a spot, but they are pretty close. They're pretty good. We got a timeout taken here by Rio Grande Valley as we watch Shaq Buchanan just putting that shoulder down. Flex, flex on him, Shaq. 16-15, hustle with the lead. For mild to moderate eczema, Eucrisa can be used almost everywhere on almost every body. Like Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile with a free Samsung Galaxy tablet. Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal. Huh. So if Geico's 85, that makes you... Are you all... Grandma, how wide are you? Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max.
Time now for our Renaissance Bank keys to the game. Finding rest. You only got seven guys tonight, so the guys are going to have to play a lot of minutes. You've got to find time to give yourself a breather within the game. It's a mental thing. You got to use your timeout, but you've also got to find some time to take some breather when plays are going on and some stoppages and free throws. Turnovers, we've talked about it with Rio Grande Valley. They will capitalize off your turnovers. So far, the hustle again tonight, two turnovers, but haven't given up any points off of that, so that's good. And then you've got to hit the defensive class because we know the offensive rebounding ability and the defensive, the rebounding ability of this team. Um, they still have it. They still got a lot of rebounds the other night. Even though the hustle out-rebounded them, they still did have their fair share. Yeah, the turnovers left on Tuesday night, both teams with 22 turnovers, but the hustle got 24 points off of the 22 Rio Grande Valley turnovers, holding Rio Grande Valley to just 15 off of their 22. Rio Van Grande Valley comes in. They have fallen to number two in the league because of that 15 the other night. They're now number two in the league in points off turnovers, but they averaged 27 a game. So again, holding them to just 15. That was impressive, which is right on the Hustle's average, which is number one in the league for fewest points allowed off turnovers. They only give up 15 points per game off of those turnovers. That's my partner, y'all. That's, that's Hustle, my partner right Hustle there. Hustle won that battle Tuesday night. We'll see who wins that battle tonight. You hear my teammate here just <laughs> spitting those numbers? Nice drive by Foster in the finish with the left hand. Both teams shooting it very well. Hustle 7 of 11. Viper 7 of 13. Six to shoot. Buchanan on the drive. Little step through the lane. Can't get it to go. Numbers here. Five on four as Buchanan's slow to get back. Lamb will launch a three, and he'll hit a Man. three. Anthony Lamb already three threes in the game, three for five now. And he's got nine points to lead all scores. Dude, what sounds do Lamb make? Do, do Lamb make? What, what are they? Nah. That's sheep, right? Well, a lamb. A little lamb. I didn't realize that. Man, I just made myself white as snow. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Tonight we're going to learn about llamas. Maybe next we are. Maybe next game it'll be National Lamb Day. Yeah, I know. Well, it would be better if it was today. Um, gosh, that was hard contact. They let that go as Marvin Smith Jr. just dislodged Freddie Gillespie to put that in. I was I was good about thinking you were about to say you're hopeful next next time we play we have a, there's a player on the other team whose name is Lama. <laughs> Marvin Smith Jr. Nameless Marvin Smith Jr. of 190 pounds. So he's 190. Uh, that dude is not 190. <laughs> he probably hasn't been 190 since high school. Yeah. If he's 190, then I'm 150, and I'm far from 150. That's that guy right there, folks, that just knocked Freddie Gillespie to the floor. Is, They're listing at 190 is pounds. He's well over 200 six, pounds. 6'6, six, six, 190. Does he look, Brandon, does he, does he look 190 to you? No, he doesn't. Okay. He, he looks 190 plus a lot more. <laughs> he is, there are 190 pounds there. I will get that. Yeah, there is a right. lot more on top of it. Yeah. Like he's, it's 190 pounds in just his arms. But like, oh, David Stockton, 325 on the dashboard. By comparison, Ahmad Cavers listed at 175. That guy's only 15 pounds. According to them, that guy's only 15 pounds heavier than oh my favorite. Oh, nice drive there. What yeah, kind of scales are they trailer. using? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. It might be even like kilograms or something. Yeah, I don't right. Know. They're doing something because that ain't pounds. That's are you, for sure. we using the metric system? Like, <laughs> they, they, they get weight in Europe or something? I thought I mistyped it on my sheet. I had to double check the roster. No, the, the roster says 190 pounds. Foul called here on Anthony Lamb. Look at this, 325 on the dashboard. Riding in the Porsche, rocking Tom Ford. David Sock. That's exactly what I thought of it. I, yeah, I, know, I know. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> That's why I had to do it. I was like, I got to get this off before Eli does. <laughs> I know he's thinking the exact same thing. I mean, first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> Gillespie there for the second chance put back. And a little tap in, tap, tap, tap in. 
Gillespie's first two of the game. Shout out to Sweet. Christian Vital gets to the rim with the left hand. He had 22 points off the bench on Tuesday night, the former UConn Husky. Gillespie with a jump. No. Vital the rebound. Out. Rebound caroms around, picked up by Smith, had it blocked by Young, but Patel there to clean it up. And now we're going to get a delay of game warning against Rio Grande Valley. You know, I the, I know uh, our official, she was Sheree. She was. Sheree Mitchell, by the way, didn't yeah, uh, she, she? was. She, she, she watched came, the game and yeah, she was not happy. She came at me today and uh, she said, Are you guys always this hard on us? And, uh, I just pointed at you. You just started pointing at me. She goes, I'm well aware of who John is. So. <laughs> Um, but now, I, you know, I will say um, this is not just a beef with her, but the delay of game call, you de you delay the game to then call a delay of game. 28-23 Vipers. <laughs> Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in person. Fighting in the cage commands bravery. At Metro by T-Mobile, we know you deserve more for the holidays. So we're giving you more. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. That skill, innovation has always powered us. And now skill run. We made football look so easy. It's probably the best team in NFL history. And the New York Giants. Penguins Capitals tomorrow on ESPN Plus. Even without their two top scorers, Travellen Queen and Fiondu Cavangale, the Vipers looking like the Vipers of the season so far offensively. They came in one of the best offensive teams, averaging the third most points at 115 a game, number five in offensive rating. Tonight, 28 points here in this first quarter with nearly three minutes still to play. It's a dangerous pass from Shaq to Ahmad Caver. After the turnover, Caver takes it right back from Nix. Young going to the rim. No. Got his own rebound. Goes back up with it and sticks it back. Cameron Young sticking with it there. And just his third game with the hustle. I like what we've seen out of Cameron. I, I really like what I've seen out of him. Nicks on the drive gets inside Nation Nicks. 22 points on Tuesday for him. He's averaging 13 a game. Mentioned Sheree Mitchell, one of our officials. Jenna Schroeder, who actually officiated the Grizzlies game in Miami yep. earlier this week. She's officiated a couple of Grizzlies games, I think, this year. And Clyde e. Mula, who was also here on Tuesday night. And Mitchell will work the both here on Tuesday night. Schroeder is the new member of the crew for tonight's game. That one's out of bounds. It'll be Viper basketball. Speaking of the Grizzlies, they are in action tonight up at FedEx Forum, hosting the LA Lakers. They are shorthanded as well. Much yeah. like they got more than seven guys, but yeah. Dylan Brooks going into health and safety protocols today, so they are very much shorthanded. Let's see what's going on with that game here. The town gets inside, banks it home. You know, he had a big game the other night. And he is playing well again tonight. The town. Oh! And hey, off the glass and a three point opportunity here. Kareem Mane, the Canada native, gets his first bucket of the game. And he'll go to the line to try and complete the three point play. The Vipers parent club, the Houston Rockets, continue their improbable run last night. 
as they beat the Nets for their seventh straight win. So they have gone from 15 straight losses to seven straight wins. And they will be in town to take on the Grizzlies on Saturday night. So this is a Rockets-Grizzlies series this week. Yes, it is. The hustle could wrap it up to win two out of three here. Lakers lead the Grizzlies up 14 to 8. As they the Knicks. Knicks knocks down three and holds up the hands. He likes to celebrate and have some fun. Young for three. And the answer. Cameron Young knocks that one in. Young two for seven from three-point range coming in. And he's one for two tonight. Then Steph Curry with the shot. Nice feed from Tao, setting up Tyler Bay for the easy bucket. So far, Rio Grande Valley now 64% from the field. 16 of 25. Not much resistance. Gillespie rims out. And the rebound goes to Mitchell. Final 30 seconds of the first as the air ball is thrown up there by Vital. Monet on the run inside. No, gets his own rebound. Finds Gillespie coming down the lane. And Gillespie able to lay that one in. Very nice from Freddie Gillespie right there to trail it. This is the old Vipers hustle scores we used to see. Back yeah, I know. It's for like, real, it oh. is. 37-33 in the first quarter. That's what we're used to when these two teams used to do battle. Knicks. And a whistle. And a foul will be called on Young. Hustle had a foul. That was the first in the last two minutes. So with four seconds to go, now the Vipers will inbound as Foster and Lamb come in. Knicks is going to inbound, but you want to make sure you keep an eye on him getting the ball right back. Yes. And you certainly got to know where Lamb goes. They bring it in to Lamb. He will try the three. Too strong. Long rebound, Caver. And the first quarter comes to an end. So a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams shooting the ball extremely well. Freddie Gillespie had four points in that quarter. Without both of them for this two-game set. But no problems for him tonight as they had a great first quarter shooting 59%, 16 of 27, and 5 of 13 from long range. They only scored 22 in the first quarter on Tuesday night. Stockton inside gets the reverse layup. David Stockton with 11 points already to lead all scores. Gotta love what you're seeing from David Stockton early in this win. That's his second win. Reverse, reverse. Up to 3,218 career points in the G League. And a turnover, but a foul will be called. They're going to get Rane. Could have been. Knicks to inbound. Jamond Ivy into the game for the first time for Rio Grande Valley. There's Knicks on a drop inside at a block. It's going to be out of bounds. It will be last touch by Marvin Smith Jr. So the hustle will get it. Fingertips of Smith and out of bounds. Also looking for the tie or the lead with a long one. It's Young for the lead. Got it. Cameron Young, second three of the night. Oh, it's Trey Day. Young corner three off the feed from Stockton. 
Young off to a good start. One thing about Young that we've seen from the day he arrived, literally from the day he arrived, basically, because he played a game the next day. He's not afraid. Like it, he's, he's not afraid to shoot. No, he's, he's not. And he's, he's, he's looked really good so far. No, he's a very confident player. He will shoot the ball. He will attack off the dribble. He's not afraid at all. It's up to see that. You get a lot of guys that are new. They want to try to fit in, mm -hmm. you know, and just kind of, all right, I don't know any of the plays. I don't know these guys. I just, I'm just going to try to fit in. And he's come out firing. Hearn gets the inbound. And now, now we got Hearn and Whitney going at it. Now Hearn's got to be careful. He cannot get ejected. We only got seven guys. Oh, and Chip Schroeder just went right back at him. Get control of the game. Chip Schroeder is not messing around. Well, they were, it was a wrestling match for Hearn yes. to come and get the inbound. And then, and Whitney kind of laughed a little bit at that point. And then we'll see the replay here of exactly what happened. Yeah. But Hearn's got to be careful. I mean, they can't afford to get right. somebody ejected from this game. There's only seven guys available. Yes. So they're going to take a look at this on the video. Now, Jenna Schroeder hand gave Hearn a technical. Yes, that's already been given. So far. I think, I think the foul was called on Whitney, and then a technical has been given to Hearn, but they will look at this and see if there's anything else that needs to be done here. I missed it there. Yeah, I don't really. Let's see if we, here we go. We're going to get back to it. So it's right there at the top of the screen. Hearn comes in. Did he trip? Did he stick his foot out and trip him? I don't him? know if he tripped him. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Yeah, I though. don't I don't know. It and looked like he I think he might have stumbled a little yeah. bit. I this this might be a better over. this might be a better angle. Ah, he kicked his leg out. Yeah. He kicked his leg out right there. I said I was gonna complain at the first review because of how many we had, but they I understandable it is understandable that they are reviewing this. Uh, he kicked his foot out right there. Yeah, he like trips over you can, but that is not a natural move that you would do if you were tripping. You wouldn't throw your foot out like that. Yeah. I mean, in the NFL, that's a 15 yard penalty. That's right. So they are done taking a look at it, and now. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I think we got double technical scary. I think we got the technical on her, and I think we're going to get a technical. That's my prediction. What say you? Uh, I would, would well wouldn't Whitney's would be a flagrant foul, yeah. wouldn't it? Yes. Yep, that's what. Yeah, so it'll be a flagrant one on Whitney because his is during the action. That is yes, his, his is that, during the action. So it's not a technical; it's a flagrant. And yes. then Hearn gets the technical foul, and they get ball technical. So it will be one free throw for. Rio Grande Valley for the technical, and then we will go shoot the two free throws for the flagrant foul, and then the hustle will get the ball. And then the hustle gets the ball out of bounds. Yes. So first it'll be the Vipers free throw. Well, Charette Mitchell's asking for a hustle player. No, that's wrong. No, they need a Vipers player to shoot that free throw. Vipers shoot down there. Yes. <laughs> Vipers are shooting down there. Vipers are shooting on that end. She was asking for. No, it's the technical is supposed yeah, the, the technicals first because then the foul is going to be then the foul is the continuation of play The technical happens first and then you shoot that then you continue the play with the foul All right, Now we got it straight. Yeah, again. now we but got the it technical straight. has to be first There we go, there we go lamb will shoot the technical Lamb who last year was the G League award winner for most improved player. Averaged 18 points and nearly nine rebounds last year. All right, so now we'll go to the other end. Now we get the two free throws yeah. by Hearn for the flagrant foul 
and we continue play with the hustle we'll have the basketball. And Hearn no. misses the first. Hearn is an 80% free throw shooter. I thought it was. I thought she said we take two free throws. Why wouldn't it be? Isn't it a flagrant foul? I thought two she said two free throws. Isn't a flagrant foul two free Didn't throws in the ball? Didn't she say two free throws? A flagrant. Oh, it's one for two. Uh, okay. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Even that rule screwing us up, and we know it. I forgot. I, I, get, I got confused there. I was like, wait a second. That's right. That was one for two. The first free throw was one for one. Second free throw was one for two. Now the hustle get the ball, and they try well, to get the I, I honestly, I just didn't know. I, I thought the flagrant, you would get both of them. No, you still the same thing. Still one for two. get both, yeah. So the hustle come away empty-handed. Yes, get nothing out of that. Yeah. So, out of, yeah, out of that series, the Vipers win it one to nothing. They make their free throw. The hustle don't make the free throw and can't make a bucket. Tie ball game, 38 apiece. Nitz. Hearn clears the board. So now Hearn's got to be careful, though. He's got a technical. He cannot get another technical in this game where he's ejected. And the hustle cannot afford any ejections. Mane on the drive, and he is fouled by Foster. This little cheering section back here. <laughs> Jason March's son's basketball team here. He and his teammates are here. Cheering on the hustle right behind the bench. Mane hits the free throw for two points. Also lead at 40 to 38. by Caver, working on his soccer skills. Yeah. You know, they got an indoor soccer team coming to the Lander yeah, Center. The, the Memphis Americans. That's right. Bringing it back. Caver might be trying out. Yeah. Showing off his skills here. Never played indoor soccer. Played plenty of outdoor soccer. I've never played any soccer. You never played. You didn't like to run, did you? No, no, I didn't really like that. <laughs> and I like to use my hands. I like to use my hands. <laughs> yeah, you, see, you didn't even want to be. See, the goalie could have been perfect, but then you got to dive. Yeah, and, yeah. I'm too slow. You know, you seven. You don't want people to kick the soccer yeah. balls at your head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For three. Yeah, and they call an offensive foul going to be called. Oh, they're they did. Okay. Say Knicks. I kicked his leg out at no, Stockton. No, she's saying he threw Stockton. <laughs> Afterwards, I guess. Oh, okay. I could not see that because of our angle. I could not see through everybody. I did not see that. But nonetheless, off Here we go. Here we go. Here's a look. Here's a look. He did kind of grab him. Yeah, and do that. what, yeah, grab the back of his leg. Left shoulder. Hearn loses that one out of bounds. Four turnovers on the hustle. The previous three have not resulted in any Viper points. Lamb trying to end that and unable to do so. so. Four turnovers, no points off of them. Here's Caver going the other way. Good shot. Good defense. Hey. Caver gets it back and sticks it in. Look at that. A lot, Caver. Way to stay with it. Lamb loses it. Now it's Knicks. Knicks. Ball goes down, Christian Vital. Man. Nine points for Vital. She had 22 on Tuesday. Yeah, 22 points. He was just two to nine, though, from three on Tuesday. One to three tonight. Knicks goes out. Bay returns. Brings it in cross court to Manet. He throws it right back to him. You don't see that inbound very much. Cross court pass followed by the cross court pass. And Young gets the bucket. Cameron Young in the double figures with 10 now. That was a nice looking pull up right there in the lane from Cam Young. That is a new high for Cameron Young. I love double zero too. Great number of basketball. I like the double zero. I do. I'm a, I'm a fan of double zero. I'm a fan of this double zero here, right? 
with that yeah, one. Jumper. We, got, we got former Grizzly Darrell Arthur for the uh, double zero. Former Memphis Tiger point guard Chris Garner, one of my favorite college players ever, wore the double zero. You like double zero better than right with one zero? I'm cool with either one of them. You got Javon Ivey out there, yeah. which is a regular zero. Regular zero would be uh, with Jamichael Green. He wore regular zero. Gillespie oh, oh, unable to control the rebound and loses it right back to Foster, who puts it in. I think double zero is better. I, I, I like, like double zero, zero too. Yeah. It's, like two, it's like two big eyes. It's like the, the big eyes emoji. Yeah, and I think if you. you're if you're like getting a uh, like if you get a jersey. Oh, Cam Young, don't pull the thing out unless you plan to bang. Double zero, doing it, Cameron Young, with 13 now. Just his third game, and he is lighting it up here. He and Stockton after buying for 24, both of them five of eight from the field. Nice feed, Monty. Hey, Gillespie, Freddie Gillespie, with half a dozen now in the lead. A half a dozen. Yeah. Oh, he took that pass. Oh, he's feeling it. Look at that. Oh, nice pass. Cannon off the fake, tough shot, no. Gillespie there, gets the rebound, and puts it up and in. Freddie Gillespie up to eight points. 51-43, Hustle. Foster going right at Gillespie, who did a nice job defensively, just yeah, going straight he, up. He Foster was just trying to force contact to get a foul. Good job by the officials for not falling for it. And back the other way, we get a foul called on Tyler Bay. And we will get a timeout. 6.38 to go here in the second quarter. And the hustle outscoring Rio Grande Valley 18 to 6 in the quarter. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because... I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because... Marshawn, we're here. Marshawn. I want y'all to hear from me first. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in person. What is your name? Stanton Carlisle. Can you read minds? Yes, I can. It's the most joyous time of the year. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. <laughs> Fighting in the cage commands bravery. I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because... I'm originally from Hawaii, but I moved to Wisconsin just last year. I decided to get a bike because... Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. Young, the rookie in just his third game with the hustle, is leading all scorers with 13 points, five of eight from the field, three of four from beyond the arc, the product of Quinnipiac, three of three for eight points in this quarter. Is it Quinnipiac or Quinnipiac? No, we're not going to this. Okay. <laughs> you just shut that off immediately. Ten point game now. After the Monet free throws, Monet up to seven points now, three for three at the line. What would Billy Bob say in varsity? Who's at, at, at ten? Oh, what a nice. block from Monet! He's got Caver. He lobs it too high though for Caver to bring it down. Caver was calling for it. Monet tried to get it to him, but he little too much. And back the other way, Bay gets inside. And now a turnover by the hustle as they throw it away. Each team now with five turnovers. We see that missed connection there on the alley-oop from Manet to Caver. Waiting for the 
Tao to tie a shoot. Now we're ready. Through the lane, poked away by Caver. But dug out of there by Bay. Shot won't go, and Caver has the rebound. Caver too young this time. Goes to the reverse. Cameron Young with 15. Oh, welcome to South Haven where the players play, and we ride on them things like every day. Three ball by Mitchell won't go. They've gone ice cold from three-point range. Uh, was not called. Marvin Smith wanted it, didn't get it. <laughs> I think you saw the same thing I did. <laughs> Looked like he took his arm off. Yeah. 11 4 run here by the Hustle. You got to love how aggressive the Hustle have been. They come in here. So we've seen this Hustle team over the years be shorthanded and put up amazing efforts. We're getting another one so far here in the first half. Bay goes down the lane and plays it up. He wants to come out of the game. He's tired. Little zone look here for the Vipers. Not, not a, now they can switch it into a man. man. That's ooh. Shaq missed that one badly. Send it ahead for Mitchell. Playing wide receiver there, keep the both feet in bounds. Tap, dribble drive, and a wild shot. Didn't get the call that he wanted. Mane back to oh. long ago. Mane continues to struggle from three point range. For the season, it's his first attempt tonight as this one off the rim and over the back floor down. Vipers in this second quarter are now one for seven from three-point range. They've only scored 10 points in the quarter after they put up 37 in the first. Hustle. Trailed by four after one, but lead by eight now. We go under four minutes to play in the half. Speed to Gillespie, middle of the lane. Gathers against the double team, goes up and scores. Gillespie into double figures. Good finish right there by Freddie Gillespie. You know, that's one thing I've noticed this year, seeing him up close, is Freddie sometimes does struggle uh, to finish some of the easier buckets. That kind of has a hard time uh, holding on to the ball, but the last couple he's been able to finish. He also does not struggle, though, with blocking shots as he rejected another suitor on tender. Swipe left. Leading the league in blocks at 3.1 a game. It's a nice feed there, but Gillespie was not fooled and gets the rejection. It'll be Caver at the line. So Gillespie fell short of the double-double on Tuesday because he didn't get there in points. He had just eight points with his franchise record, 19 rebounds. Tonight he's already into double figures in points, sitting at four rebounds. Ahmad Caver to the line. Seven points, six rebounds for Caver already tonight. He only averages four rebounds a game. One of the league leaders in assists at 6.9 a game. Fifth in the league, but only one assist so far. Makes it a 12-point game. Biggest lead of the night. I know Coach Mark said at the end of the night he thinks, you know, Shaq and Ahmad are very deserving of call-ups and hopes he gets one soon. And I, I, I couldn't agree more with the way watching the way both of those guys, Shaq and Ahmad, have just gotten better and better in the time with the hustle. It's been incredible how their games have developed. Shaq draws the offensive foul right there as he steps in and draws the contact from Mitchell. First foul for Mitchell. Nix and Bay each have three for Rio Grande Valley. Nobody with more than two for Memphis. Stockton 
on the drive, scoops it up and in. Stockton now with 13 points. And everything but the one three-pointer he's made has been layups. Oh, he has been outstanding tonight. You know, this is one, this is your veteran. This is one of your big veterans, and he has really come to play tonight when the team needs him most. Mitchell loses it on the drive. Gillespie has it. Caver gets to the rim. Could have left that, laid that up on the left he side, and he went to the other one and got it blocked. He could have easily gone up with the left hand right there. Look at David Stockton. He's got five layups and a three tonight. Timeout on the floor. Hustle leading it by 14. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. When Subway open, they change the fast food game. But sometimes you gotta refresh to be- It's the most joyous time of the year. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes must oh, be carried- For mild to moderate eczema, Eucrisa can be used almost everywhere, on almost every body. Like- Whoa. Every week, millions of fantasy football players need to be confident they're- Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in person. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six, thanks to Pete Newbacher. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. At Skill, innovation has always powered us. And now Skill runs. Welcome to a new time. Anyone's time. Well, when your bench only consists of two guys, um, you don't necessarily to expect to win the bench points category. Yeah. But right now, the hustle with a 22-13 advantage is Cam Young with 15 and Kareem Mane with seven. The only two guys off the bench for the hustle tonight, both playing very well so far. Absolutely. They've been fantastic. And David Stockton continues the hot shooting again. Now two of three from three. He has a game high 16 points. He says, Cam Young, I start. I'm going to finish with the game high. Knicks gets inside to score. Stockton came in averaging nine points a game. He's got 16 here in this first half. By the way, going on at FedEx Forum, the Grizzlies currently leading the Lakers 41 to 35 midway through the second quarter in that one as there's an air ball from Shaq Buchanan. He's trying to claim he got tips. Ten points from Desmond Bain, seven apiece from Jaron Jackson Jr. and Tyus Jones. And they're getting a little jitty off the bench. John Conchar with five points off the bench for the Grizzlies. There you go. Most jitty. A former Memphis Hustle. Yeah, a Hustle alum. Caver finds Shaq in the corner. Buchanan's three goes down. Uh -oh. oh, oh, and he hits the gritty. Is that the gritty? Was that the gritty? I don't know. Was that the gritty? Do you know what that dance was? Was that the gritty? You don't know either, do you? I, Jenna, was that the gritty? I believe it. I think I don't. I don't. I'm, Did he just hit the gritty? Yes. It was the gritty. Yes. Not the jitty. Man. Jitty's, uh, jitty's up at FedEx Four. That I was am, the gritty. I am so hip. Shout out to Devin Walker. Hustle opened up an 18-point lead here. 34 points in the second quarter after 33 in the first. The team that came in, the Hustle 26th in the league in scoring is having their best offensive night of the season so far. You know, you never know, man. You really don't. You never with, with know. With seven guys. It's incredible. Five to shoot. Knicks puts that one off the glass for two. Nation mix with 11 now. Hustler, 8 of 13 from 3. The Vipers, 6 of 21, just 1 of 8 in the second quarter for Rio Grande Valley. Shaq on the drive, off the glass, no. Rebound controlled by Smith. That's a tough shot by Shaq right there. 
Whitney on the drive, feeds Smith for the lay-in. Two for one opportunity here yep. for the hustle. I think they're probably going to take it. Yep. It'll be Buchanan for three. Comes up short. Rebound tipped right to Hearn, who lays it in, and it's still got a chance. He still have a chance at it, depending on when Rio Grande Valley takes their shot and if you can get the rebound. Hearn with seven, perfect from the field, three for three. And now a foul going to be called on Hearn. Hustle had a foul to give. Vital checks in, he'll replace Whitney. 21 seconds on the game clock, 19 seconds on the shot clock. Mahmoud Abdul Fatah, the head coach, says one shot. Now they'll go. Nix will just get it off. In time to beat the shot clock, gets the bucket. Here's Buchanan from half four. No. And the first half comes to an end with the hustle. Leading Rio Grande Valley, trying to win two straight here over the Vipers. 69-55, our halftime score, Hustle on top. Thing all together, you don't want to beat. But that is like a dream come true if your poop doesn't smell. So shout out to llamas. Oh, good, good on you, llamas. Could be a llama farmer or something, I, I you know? They, I yeah, knew. like you wouldn't have to worry about it just stinking. The only thing I really knew about them is they, they spit. I knew they spit. Yeah. That was a, that was a, that's a big thing. Because, I mean, there's sometimes, like, you go to the zoo, man, you can smell where the elephants are from oh. about, like, a mile away. You never find, you'll never find the llamas if you're going by odor. No, you'll never find the llamas if you're trying to smell for them. Hustle to start the second half. Oh, oh boy, what a friendly roll that was. Goes around the rim, hits the backboard, and falls as the hustle continues to shoot well. Hearn has not missed tonight. Four for four from the field. He's got nine points. Shaq Buchanan, the hustle's leading scorer for the year, is their low scorer tonight among all seven guys who have played. That's a good closeout by Reggie Hearn right there on the perimeter on Lamb, but Bay is able to come up with the offensive rebound. Foster on the drive, scoops it up and in. Oh, it looks like he hurt himself too on that landing Foster did, kind of wincing as he runs back. Caver to Hearn. Hearn finally misses for the first time, but Stockton has the offensive rebound. Caver gets in the lane, hangs and fires, but missed it badly. Nicks for three. Nope. Gillespie, another rebound. His fifth. Caver kicks it to Stockton. Didn't take the three. Wants to drive. He's been getting to the rim all night. Now Hearn for three. Second straight miss by Reggie Hearn. Tough pass. Foster, nice catch in the corner and saves it to Nicks. Lamb, high hey. speed. Foster had it blocked by Buchanan. Nix wanted a foul call for his teammate, didn't get it. Caver, his three blocked, gets it back. And he finds her in the corner. And again, Hearn can't connect. But his own offensive rebound and the reverse layup. Oh, Reggie Hearn gets his own offensive rebound, puts his tang down, flips it, and reverses it. He had missed three straight threes. Says, I'll go to the rim. Gets into double figures with 11. The Vipers have gone just ice cold from three-point range. What's cooler than cool? Uh, ice cold. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's, that's outcast right there. It's Andre 3000. Hey, ya. Hey, ya. One of the most famous I, I pop do, songs ever. I do know hey, ya. <laughs> you do? There we go. We're getting somewhere with you. With ya. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Bayah. 
A Bay Bay. He's at the three point line hollering, A Bay Bay. Bay's A Bay up to Bay. 12 now. They've you know, got I, three in double figures. Hustle I, with four. You know, I need the officials to do something I don't agree with. It's, you know, like. Specifically, Sh is Sheree Mitchell. Yeah, that's I, it. You I don't need, care about the other two. You yeah, just yeah, care yeah. About her. I, I, yeah, because I don't need to think that she like intimidated me or something before the game. I can't have that. I need a reason to get mad, or not mad, just you know frustrated. I don't even say I got mad. I got frustrated with all the reviews the other day. You got frustrated with the zero needing to be on the shot clock and the reporting of wrong fouls hey. of wrong numbers. Yes, that too. I do remember that. She did that twice. Yeah. But she <laughs> hasn't that, done it tonight. No. Well, she's going to listen back to this and be like, why are you just calling out my old mistakes? <laughs> like, for, like, for real? Like, you guys never made a mistake before well, in your life? She hasn't made any mistakes tonight that I know she of. She hasn't. Yeah, not they, that I been, know of. No. This crew's been really good no, tonight. they have been. They've been fantastic. No complaints whatsoever. Is that not a moving screen? <laughs> like, I mean, it's like the, the ball handler's dribbling the ball, and the screener is touching the defender and just moving one way to the other. Oh, what a feed. Stocked into Hearn. Another reverse layup. Reggie Hearn up to 15 oh, now. Reverse it. It's near from the line, near from Eight points in the quarter for Hearn. Still 7.30 to go. Lamb's just three of ten from three. Loses that one off the dribble. Well, Lamb started out two of four from three. Yeah, their whole team has gone ice cold from three points. Cooler than cool. Seven of 25 now for the game. Stock it again. Goes to the rim. This one won't go. Oh, Gillespie, the offensive board, had it knocked away. It'll be saved nicely by Lamb. That has to be a carry. Nick's on the drive and now. <laughs> great impression. Yeah, right, yeah, great that, impression. That's a great, I mean, that, I mean that, if that's not a carry, like he literally, I mean, held the ball for about two seconds on that, <laughs> that dribble. That was amazing. Nick's at the foul line. As Batal checks in for Foster. Nix has not attempted a free throw. They've only attempted one free throw on the night as a team. And there is the second, and Nix hits it. 13 point game now, 77 to 64. Stockton inside, no off the back iron. And Trey Mitchell clears the board. You got to finish. Stockton looks like he's grabbing his right quad, wincing. Cannot afford injuries. Hustle by 13 here in the third. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. Whoa. Every week, millions of fantasy football players need to be confident. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal. Can I get a hamburger? Look at time. Small fries and a... Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal. Say you're looking for the perfect present. You might try looking at the perfect place. It's the most joyous time of the year. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. All right, Parker, you ready? At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher. Forty-nine remaining here in the third. Hustle by 13. And they continue to shoot the ball well. Reggie Hearn has all eight of the hustle points here in this third quarter so far. 
got a jump ball here as we get back to action between Hearn and Christian Patel. And Hustle able to win the jump. Jack Buchanan on the drive, scoops it up, no. Gillespie fighting hard for the rebound. Able to gather, and now with a triple team, gets out of there and kicks it out to Caver. And that will be out of bounds, last touch by Caver. It's a good defensive possession right there by Rio Grande Valley coming out of that timeout. I thought the hustle were playing hard, trying to move the ball. I thought Rio Grande Valley just executed very well right there. Lamb working against Hearn, finds Bay, and Bay loses it. This will be a breakaway for Shaq Buchanan. Goes up with the reverse. The former Murray State racer, his alma mater, will be in town tomorrow night to take on the Memphis Tigers as Nick hits the corner three. I'll be in attendance at that game. I haven't decided if I'll be in attendance at that game. I'm going, I'm going as a fan. I have the... <laughs> Something I look forward to there. I think they were way more valuable than, the year than they are now. Gillespie inside. He's up to 12 now. Gillespie just one rebound away from his fifth double double. It's in Caver and going to get a foul on Caver. He thought he got the jump ball, but he did not. It'll be a foul. No, I will say uh, 14 first half points has the uh, the Grizzlies 59 53 over the Lakers at halftime. So 14 first half points for Jaron Jackson Jr. For and 14 Jackson. first half turnovers for the Lakers. LeBron's going to have a triple double. He's well on his way. Desmond Baines also got 10 points. Grizzlies bench has 21 points. Jared Culver can play off the bench. Over who had the big night here on Tuesday nights with the double double. I'm just going to take credit for me doubting him. Let's totally turn it around. 26 and 11 Tuesday night here for the hustle. Stockton inside, wanted a foul, didn't get it. Back oh. away. Buchanan tips the pass and Gillespie able to get it. Here come the hustle. Great job by Shaq Buchanan. Stop and pop three for Buchanan off the mark. Could have kicked it right to Stockton. Mitchell back the other way. He finds. Foster in the corner who goes inside the Knicks for an easy two timeout hustle. Jason March has seen his team's lead down, cut down to 10 here. It's been as many as 18. It's 81 71. Hustle here. 444 to go in the third. At Metro White T Mobile, we know you deserve more for the holidays. So we're giving you more. Tis the season for more at Metro White T Mobile with the big 5G upgrade. Now choose. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in person. I want y'all to hear from me first. Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in person. Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. At skill, innovation has always powered us. Can health insurance help cure loneliness? Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. At Skill, innovation has always powered us. And now Skill runs. Meet Tempo. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. At Skill, innovation has always powered us. And now Skill runs. Penguins Capitals tomorrow on ESPN+. Plus. The lead is cut down to 10. They have uh, struggled shooting the basketball here in this third quarter. They are just 6 of 19 for the quarter. They still have the 10-point lead. They've been outscored 16 to 12 in the quarter. It's 
Stockton had poked away, and they're going to get Nix for a foul. That'll be his fourth. Dacia Nix with his fourth, and he leads all scorers with 22 points. <laughs> See what uh, Mahmoud Abdul Fatah wants to do with Nix with four fouls. Nick's though. They will leave Nick's in with the four fouls here. And <laughs> there is a foul on Foster. And Foster even looked over at Jason and Marcia, kind of nodded his head and raised his hand like, yes, there it is. Still a foul that is called here. They're going to get Jamont Ivy for the foul on the three. This is a big one here for Shaq Buchanan. One free throw for three points. Shaq, yeah. just three of 13 from the field. And we're going to get a review. We're going to get a review. They're going to challenge it, yeah. Mahmoud Abdul Fatah wants to challenge this. Obviously, knowing that it's one three free throw for three points. We're challenging, so he will use his one challenge on this one and our officials will take a look at it the other night Tuesday night each team was successful when they're with their one challenge oh it's just another review though <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at this here I mean, I mean, we just saw the ball. We couldn't it's, see it's, the well, elbow. It's hard to tell. I mean, it's, yeah. from that angle, it's going to be hard to tell whether there was contact on the elbow or not. Like, right. it's just he reaches towards the elbow, whether there's actually contact. That's it's virtually to impossible tell, yeah. to tell. I don't know that you could possibly overturn that. Na, 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 na. And they are mm -mm -mm. they are already done looking at it. So I would have thought maybe they would at least take a look at another angle. I think if. Uh, well, now they're like going to go back and look at it some more. Yeah. See if they got another angle to see if there's separation. This is where, you know, I will say it, it's very difficult for these officials. Is they're only, it's not like an NBA game where you have, a, I mean, it looks like right there he got him. But it, it's not like an NBA game where there are so, you have seriously every camera yeah, angle exactly. available to you under the sun, and you don't have that in the G League. And so this does make it tougher on these officials. Because you know what? Yeah, I think he hit it. It looked to me like yeah, he It looks touched like he him. got him. Certainly not enough to say he absolutely did not, that there's yeah. definitive evidence that he didn't from that angle. But they, but it also may be one of these things where he didn't, maybe he didn't get him, and Rio Grande Valley was right to challenge it, and they may be right, but there just may not be enough yeah. evidence to, to overturn the call. So Ivy was emphatic that he did not touch him. Yeah. But again, I, there's nothing from that angle to me that would allow you to overturn that call. Yeah, I agree. You would now need another angle that it. would show some separation between now, the hand and the elbow. And now watch them overturn it. Let's see how this goes. It is an unsuccessful, it's an unsuccessful challenge. challenge. Elbow was the contact, is what she was saying. Yeah. So they will, it'll put Buchanan at the line. Shaq, who's been great of late, but struggling tonight, was 3 of 13 from the field. Seven points for Shaq, but a chance to get three right here with one free throw. He's a 68% free throw shooter on the year. Well, this is a small lineup out there other than Gillespie. You got Stockton, Caver, Buchanan, and Young. Jack gets the free throw, so three points for that one free throw there, and the lead pushed back to 13 now, and Buchanan is into double digits. Caver and Manet are the only two hustle players tonight not in double figures. 
hustle with only seven guys available. Nix, Euro step into the lane, missed it, got his own, puts it in with a left hand. Dacian Nix, the youngster, now up to 24 points, coming off of a 22 point performance on Tuesday. Buchanan, 4-3, got it to go. Maybe that free throw is what he needed, seeing something go in. Knocks down the three right there. All net right there from Shaq Buchanan. He's in the Grinch Kobe's tonight. He's been a different player when he's wearing the Kobe's. That was a four-bounce pass. <laughs> it really was. That should have been the travel, I think, but they didn't call it. Ball deflected out of bounds on the pass. That look there's a, there's your shoe. There's your Shaq. Look at those. Look at those Kobe, the Grinch Kobe's. And I'll tell you what, he is spoiling Christmas for the Rio Grande Valley Vipers. He didn't change at halftime tonight, did he? No, he didn't. He did not. Off the inbound. Easy layup. It's missed, but Nix is there for the putback. Man, I thought Shaq could have blocked that one, too. Nix now with 13 points in the quarter and 26 for the game. Two-way player, Dacia Nix in the corner, stopped it for three, oh, rattles oh, it in. Oh, got the Chevy same color, Tropicana orange juice. 19 now for Stockton. And, and we just hit Jenna Schroeder, our yeah. official, in the face, I think. I think he got her in the face. Look at this, David Stockton. Beautiful teamwork. It makes the dream work. Corner three, base. Now we're ready to inbound. I want to clean up a little wet spot here on the floor. Jenna Schroeder, the official, is okay. I give her credit. That, that could have been way worse earlier with Reggie Hearn. Well, she got in there. She, and, was, not, she, was, and Whitney, she was not afraid. No, she got in, She got control of that situation fast. She made sure everybody yes. knew she was in control. Yes, of that make sure everybody knows I got this. Go to your bench now. Traveling violation called here. Did you see him dragging the yeah, pivot foot? Definitely did. That's a great call right there by Sheree Mitchell. Absolutely. A fantastic one of many amazing calls tonight from Sheree Mitchell. <laughs> Young, free throw line jumper. This Young, who was perfect from the field in the second quarter with 10 points. With 15 for the game. This is his first attempt here in the third. That's stripped away by Caver. Nix gets it back, though. Nix inside against Gillespie. Draws the contact. Boy, Dacia Nix yeah. is playing hard here Tough now. Tough player. Tough player. You and I both said we were fans of his. If he was a couple inches tall, yeah. he would be real dangerous. Oh, he stepped out of bounds. I don't know when they called the foul, but he stepped out of bounds. They called the foul after that. It's the free throw, so he continues with his big quarter. But you can't really challenge there. Yeah. Yeah. 15 in the quarter for Knicks. Oh, good screen from Freddie. Oh, that could have been a perfect time to cut back door for Ahmad Caver, but Freddie's going to go right to the rim. Kept his pivot foot, but this one on a jump hook, that's going to be fine. I know two minutes of this third quarter. Want to finish strong yeah, here gotta, in the third. Yeah, closing the quarter out is a massive, massive thing. That is something the hustle did very well last night in the second half against the Valley Vipers. Mitchell, rather Foster lost it, but gets it to Nix now. Nix oh! rejected by Monet. Gets it back. Nix fires and wow. hits. Well, he just got it stuck in automatic right now. Whatever he throws up, unless it's blocked, goes in. Thirty-point performance by Nix. Still in the third. You know, I still think there's a place for him. He's a big-time high school prospect. Still a place for him. Even though he's shorter in the NBA, Nix. 
I think I think he's strong enough. He's definitely strong. He's enough. strong enough to make up for maybe his lack of height and athleticism. I think he's strong. I think he's got the strength and IQ. He doesn't lack for confidence. That is he, for sure. He definitely does not lack for confidence. He's actually, he's he's a very entertaining player. <laughs> he's actually fun with it. Last year when he was with the Ignite, he averaged only 8.8 .8 points per game. Came into this game averaging 13. He's got 30. Had 22 the other night. Foster at the line here. Can't get it to go. Good rebound by Shaq. This is the first... 30 point game for anybody on the Vipers this year. Wow. This is one of the best offensive teams. They're usually pretty balanced. Caver throws it away. Vital with the steal. Trying to find somebody and we'll get a jump ball. Knicks with 17 points and six rebounds in this third quarter. I mean, if they didn't have him this quarter, I mean, he's the sole reason they're in it. They've only scored, they've scored 24. He's yeah. got 17 of them. Yeah, and the Hustle were winning by 14 at the half. I mean, it's an 11-point game now. Yeah, if they, they need all 17 of these. <laughs> he's getting a rest. We get a jump ball here. The talent Buchanan, but Buchanan wins it. Yeah, Shaq's tough to out-jump. Well, inadvertent whistle. Clyde okay. Moolah. I, 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 yeah. Come on, man. He Come is, on, Moolah. I think he, he, that, you're not going to earn your Moolah by blowing the inadvertent whistle. He got messed up on the shot clock there. And then we're just throwing the ball in over. Mitchell gets the steal and the dunk. So the lead is into single digits now at 90 to 81. Nine second differential. Oh, you cannon off the screen to three. This is badly. Vital the rebound, and now a chance for the final shot here for Rio Grande Valley. Three seconds, two seconds. Vital going to drive against Hearn Haynes and misfires. Good defense right there by Reggie Hearn. So a 90 to 81 game. It's a single digit lead for the hustle as we head to the fourth. As we head to the fourth. Hustle held to just 21 in that third quarter after they went for 33 and 36 in the first two quarters. See if they can finish off a second straight win over Rio Grande Valley who came to town undefeated at 8-0. No. Good guys winning both right now. Hustle leading this win. Grizzlies leading by 5, 77-72 right now over at FedEx Forum just down I-55. Stockton off the steal. Little three on one. Feeds Young. Young, no. Offensive oh, foul going to be called come on. on Cameron Young. Good call. Never mind. Good defense there by Lamb. Yeah, really good defense. I thought he. I thought for sure he had a foot in there and was sliding over still. Did he had a better angle than we did. Yeah, Cameron Young, 15 points tonight. Career high for him. Yeah, Only all his third yeah, career game. Yeah, all 15 in that first half. Foster on the drive, off the glass. But Young has only played four minutes so far here in the second half. So. Marcus Foster into double figures with 10. Buchanan on the no. step back three, no. No, that's a bad shot. You don't need that shot right now. Just a seven point game all of a sudden. Vital trying to cut it to five, and he does. 
the towel now into double figures with 11. Five Vipers in double figures led by Nix with, with 30. Mane on the drive, kick out to Young. Elbows jumper is good for Cameron Young. There, nobody to catch him. Bay inside, and that'll be a foul on Hearn. That'll be three on Hearn. As Freddie Gillespie checks back in, Gillespie already with a double double, his fifth of the season. So, half the games this year, Freddie Gillespie has a double double. And just missed on Tuesday when he came up two points short with his 19 rebound performance, a franchise record. Bay at the free throw line. First attempt tonight. He's got it. 16 points now for Tyler Bay, who averages just seven and a half a game. Stockton steps back, open three, comes oh, up short. Gillespie good. getting the rebound. He and Vital fight for it. Gillespie to the ground it's and a, call. a timeout. Yeah, timeout. Could have been a jump ball, but Gillespie able to wrestle it away. And a timeout is taken here, so the hustle save the possession. They'll have 11 to shoot when we come back. 9.52 in the fourth, hustle by five. We started getting some visitors from every universe. Grandma, how wide are you? Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in person. Come in for something to give. Most joyous time of the year, especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal. Got it. How easy is that? Maria, run away with me. Maybe tomorrow I run away with you. Meet Temple, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max. All right, Parker, you ready? players, new coaches. It'll be must-see TV. But the Heisman Trophy Ceremony, Saturday at 8 on ESPN. The Hustle will wrap up their showcase games on the road next Monday and Tuesday. The next guest appearance brought to you by the Guest House at Graceland. They will be at Birmingham Monday night and Tuesday night. And that will be the end of the showcase games. They will then head to Vegas, hopefully to play in the showcase tournament, but nonetheless, at least to play some games there. It's the showcase showdown. We've been over this. They will the then play in Rio Grande Valley on the road December 30th to actually start the regular season. They will wow. not be back home again until 2022. January 2nd, Agua Caliente will be the next home game for the Hustle. So we got a warning here being handed out to the head coach, Mahmoud Abdul I don't know. I think she said something about the time. Oh, she was saying what at 9.31, the coach has been warned. Oh. I'm not sure what he did. I don't know either. So they have to do warnings now before they just tee them up. I'm not, that's not uh, to me. Just do that. There's Freddie Gillespie inside with the two-handed jam. Putting the hustle up five again. Gillespie, a big night, 14 and 11 now. In honor of hustle great John Conchar, that was a dunk shot. Gillespie out of Baylor. Really good. Nice box out and rebound there from Freddie Gillespie. He was really good last year. That earned him a 
deal with the Toronto Raptors for the rest of the season last year. Here's Stockton out to Young. Three balls. No. Oh, it looked good from here. Stockton tipped it. Gillespie another rebound. Gillespie's just getting every board right now. 14 points, 13 rebounds for Freddie Gillespie. Second leading rebounder in the league. And that'll be a foul on Lamb. And Freddie does have his two blocks tonight also. First, but that was on Bay, I believe. Yep, they get it to Bay, his fourth. Fifth double-double Fred G. The dunk there. Rated FG 33 in theaters in South Haven. Heck, he's got a chance to, uh, the way he's rebounding right now, he's got a chance to break the franchise record again. Jenna, wants, I'm glad you're between me and Jenna because I think when she hears me say some of this stuff, she just wants to, like, hit me. Well, so do I. <laughs> this, all right, fair. <laughs> fair. Violence is not the answer, Eli. I know. That's why I have it, Jenna. <laughs> Lamb again. Still can't find the range. Nix, who's been great. He's got 32 now. He is good. I like this guy. He is good. Two-way player. Good screen by Freddie Gillespie. Oh, he hit the three. Not even close. He just continues to struggle from out there. And there's a steal by Young. And Young to the rim. Lays it up and in as Bay went down, hoping to draw the offensive foul. You know, I don't believe I've ever seen Cameron Young say anything on the court either. He kind of just yeah, does his thing. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. You talk about Knicks. He's a two-way guy. Of course, Garrison Matthews, their other two-way guy, is actually starting for the Rockets right now. <laughs> it's, it's nice when you get a two-way guy as a starter yeah. for your NBA team. For an pretty NBA friendly team, contract. For an NBA team that's now won, what, seven in a seven row in after a they row. beat Brooklyn last night? But you just think of all of the young talent the Rockets have assembled, and now yeah. you've got to sort through it all. Now you have to sort through it all, and at some point, you know, you've got to you add <laughs> veterans. They've also been playing Eric Gordon more, you know, play a veteran like that. I like the Jay Sean Tate guy they have. I think he's fantastic. Great role player, plays hard, tough player. It's going to be much different against the Rockets for the Grizzlies on Saturday night than it, than it was the first time they played. They had the three first-round draft picks this past year. Draft. I thought he traveled. But... They'll get a foul here, and that will send it. Lamb to the free throw line. The cookie delivery is here. Caver called for that foul. Foul's not an issue at all for the hustle. Three on Caver, three on Hearn. Are the other ones with more than two. Nix has four, and he's been playing with four for a while. It would be very nice if the hustle could find a way to get his fifth and, and sixth, because he is single-handedly keeping the Vipers in this one. Is Lamb is able to hit the free throw. Hasn't found the range from three-point land, but he is two for two at the line. Three-point game. Stocked into the baseline. His pass knocked away out of bounds by Ivy. Got him young to the oh, rim. And a foul there's the foul. Yeah, Jenna Schroeder. She caught it right there. And the Vipers, even if they wanted to try to challenge that, they can't. They cannot. They They've cannot. Already, They've already, already used the challenge. Foul called on Mitchell. Young to the line. Cameron Young. This will be his first free throw attempt. He's got 19 points. Holla back, youngin. Woo, woo. Holla back. Free throw. Off the front, off the glass, and in. The Vipers wanted a delay of game. Which was a technical right there, but Sheree Mitchell no call. continues to just do a fantastic job tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she's get, next time she comes. Next time she comes, she's gonna be like, "Y'all are such smart Alex. 
Nix off the drive. Can't get that one. Mitchell the rebound and the putback. So back to a three-point game. Viper just keep on hanging around here. Stockton for three. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, eyeballs. David and the Stockton. steal and Shaq Buchanan throws it down. So five quick points by the hustle to make it an eight-point game. Stockton up to a team-high 22 now. Season high for Stockton. Nix is open for three. Yes, 35 for Nix. Well, we had a 40-point game earlier in this homestand by B.J. Johnson. The record for points in a game against the Hustle is 41. Here's Young. Nice feed to Gillespie for the two-handed jam. Cameron Young. basketball that's his first assist 21 points for young man off the bench short-handed bench Cameron Young has been great Knicks again now it's Lamb oh, oh, wow Lamb flips it up over his shoulder after the foul gets the bucket and one Takes the bump, flips it up backwards, wow. and banks it in with the English. A little wizardry. Wow. Tough shot for Lamb. Who's decided to go to the basket a little now since he can't find the range from three. Yeah. He said he started two of four from three. Just one for his last eight right there. Hits the free throw, completes the three-point play. He's got 15 to lead down to four. Buchanan, three ball. High off the rim, gets the bounce. Two big bounces and it finally fell. Shooter's touch for Shaq Buchanan. Bay for three at the other end. That one goes down. Bay now three for four from three-point range. He came in two for 16 on the year. Vipers again will not go away. Caver working hard. Now it's Stockton with five to shoot. He's got the towel all over him. Banks it, no. Rebound out of bounds. It'll stay with the hustle. Yeah, I think a good call right there. Jenna Schroeder was all over that. I thought so, too. Freddie Gillespie hit it first, but then Lamb, he hit it next and knocked it out of bounds. So they'll put 14 on the shot clock here. I thought I thought Stockton was going to be able to get this to go. Look good. Ow, just not enough. And then you see Lamb come in there, and he was the last to touch it. Off the inbound, Stockton in the corner. Oh, there they go. Oh, fade away three, David Stockton. Stockton with 25, five of seven from three. Batal for the answer, well short. Stockton the rebound. Pushes ahead for Hearn, and Hearn is fouled on the drive. Taking the third team foul on the Vipers. The hustle will take it out of bounds. Look at David Stockton right here. Catch and shoot. Little fade fr from the corner. Beautiful. In front of the club. Mom dropping you back off. Off the inbound to Cannon. Can't hit the three. About Tyler Bay. Four for five now after he was two for 16 on the year. And it looked like the hustle after they took it from three to eight might start to pull away, and the Vipers have it right back to a four point game. We got a mock cable. Oh, 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 on the drive, and one opportunity for Shaq Buchanan. We trap or die.
There you see the drive. Shaq is going to the free throw line here. For a chance at the three. Get cheesy at Red We are going to get a timeout before the free throw here. 2.56 remaining. Hustle leading at 113 to 107. Fighting in the cage commands bravery. Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile with the big 5G upgrade. Now choose... It's the most joyous time of the year. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in personal... Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in personal... Meet Temple. The home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Temple helps you max... New players, new coaches. It'll be must-see TV. Marshawn, Marshawn. I want y'all to hear from me first. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you max. with seven, Killian Tilly and Xavier Tillman each with five, and Jared Colbert with six. LeBron James with 20 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists. Four. Uh, Colbert build up, building off of his big game here on Tuesday and contributing for the Grizzlies tonight. Now Buchanan at the line. Shaq suddenly with 20 points. He struggled at the start, but he has come on here. Late in this one. 21 now for Shaq. 16 of them in the second half. Seven point lead here with under three to go. Townsend and oh, Stockton read it beautifully and picks off the pass. Stockton saw that one coming a mile away. Dad, the career steals leader in the NBA. And that'll be an offensive foul on her on the handoff. Ivy will replace Mitchell here. Foster back into the game. We're going to get it to Nix. Who finds Bay, who's been red hot. Can't get this one to fall. And Buchanan high for that rebound. Man, he is such a good jumper, Shaq Buchanan is. And then just has a crazy long wingspan. And he just lost the ball. <laughs> just was just complimenting the entire way up and down, up down the court. And he as he loses the ball. That's all right, Shaq. That's all right. Shaq with 21 points, five rebounds. Shout out to John Morant who's watching. Ja, get that. Uh, he, I saw him tweeting earlier about the about the hustle game. So, uh, Ja, hope that knee gets better soon. Shaq is former Murray State teammate. Of course, again, Murray State will be in town tomorrow night. Yeah. Here inside, they get it to Bay, and Bay gets another bucket. Bay's got 24 now. Came in averaging seven and a half. Stockton off the high screen, down the lane, to the left hand, had a block, 
but Caver able to save it. Now he almost loses it. Four to shoot. Stockton with two to shoot. Throws it up ah! off the glass and it goes. Oh my, what a possession. Stockton off the glass. He's got 27. We got a delay a game. So this will be yeah. technical this time. It'll be a free throw for Rio Grande Valley. And the free throw is good by Lamb. One twenty-seven to go in a six-point game. Hustle trying for their second straight win over Rio Grande Valley. Rio Grande Valley hosts Texas for their final two games of the showcase games. Those two, if Rio Grande Valley falls here tonight, will each have two losses. So they will be battling for the South Region Championship. But both are likely to head to Vegas for the showcase showdown. Lamb for three. Got it. Can't miss all night. The guy's shooting nearly 50% yeah. from three-point range. He's not going to miss all night. Now four for 13 tonight. We are back to a one-possession game. Caver inside of Gillespie. Got great position and able to lay it in easily. You know, and I thought Ahmad was going to go up with that shot, but great recognition by him. We talked about how much better of a passer he has gotten. You talked earlier how he only had one assist earlier. Now he is up to that average of seven. Beautiful find and a beautiful seal by Freddie Gillespie. Lamb inside this time, kicks it out. Mitchell on the drive. Haynes can't hit. Got it! Back, though, that was Bay, and Bay puts it up and in. Bay has been fantastic. He's up to 26. He's got a double-double, too. That was his 10th rebound. Three-point game with 30 seconds to go. Stocked in. That was partially blocked, and... Here come the Vipers. They could tie it with a long one. Nix loses the basketball. Shaq picks it up, and now Foster has it for the tie. It's well short, and Hearn has the rebound. And a timeout will be called from the bench by Jason March. With 10.8 to go. It's just a reset timeout. Yeah, it was timeout. a reset timeout. So All the ball just, yeah, it's an advance. The ball just advances. So the hustle will bring it into the front court to inbound with 10.8 to go. Got to get it in and then going to need to make free throws. Who's taking the ball out of bounds? Somebody's got to go take the ball out of bounds. Just don't throw the ball away, please. Hustle. The, the, I, I, I had the flashers. Last time the hustle took the ball out of bounds from over here, I'm pretty sure just threw it to midcourt and it was a steal and points the other way. Shaq gets it in to Stockton. The Vipers are going to have to foul, and they yeah. do. Mitchell with 8.9 to go. So Stockton can make it a two-possession game here. He'll have to shoot both free throws here in the final two minutes. Normal free throw rules apply. He has not attempted a free throw tonight. He's four for six on the year. Pure with the first. So it's a two possession game now with 8.9 to go. Vipers do have a couple of timeouts remaining. Stockton hits a bolt and a timeout will be taken here by Rio Grande Valley. So the hustle with their third 30 point quarter of the night. Now they had 33 in the first, 36 in the second. They've got 30 here in the fourth now. And with 120 points in the game, can feel a little comfortable here with just 8.9 to go, but it is not over yet. As Rio Grande Valley will have it to inbound, and they do still have another timeout remaining. You have to expect that they would like to get this to Lamb or Bay, especially with the way Bay has shot it tonight. They have shorted Lamb a three. They yeah. credit his last three to Mitchell. And he is 
he should have 19 points in the game. Yeah. Inbound comes to Lamb. Lamb sidestep three. Short rebound put up and in, though, by Foster. With 4.4 to go, got to get it in, and a timeout is taken. So, couldn't get it in. They take a timeout. They'll regroup. Jason March will draw something up. One twenty to one seventeen. Our score here. Grizzlies again in action tonight up at FedEx Forum, and they will be in action Saturday night. It's it's the two parent clubs of these two teams Saturday night at FedEx Forum, and it is Zebo Retirement Night. Should be a great night. As Zach Randolph will have the jersey retired oh, at FedEx I Forum. Cannot wait. The Red Hot Rockets, who have won seven in a row, they do have Milwaukee tomorrow night, so that streak could come to an end before they get to FedEx Forum but should be a great night Saturday night as we continue the Grizzlies versus Rockets theme that we've had here for two nights in South Haven. Good to see Jalen Green for the first time. Yep. Jungle boogie All right, Hustle got to get it in. They do to Caver, and he is fouled by Foster. So Caver to the line. For two. He's one for one tonight. He's 84% for the year. Caver, only nine points. Three out of 12 from the field, but eight rebounds, seven assists. Another good all-around game from Ahmad Caver. Free throw is good. Caver also has a couple of blocks in the game. That should do it. A two possession game with three and a half seconds to go. Trying to make it a five point lead. It's off the iron, no good. And a timeout taken on the rebound here by Rio Grande Valley. Just don't foul. Don't foul a three-point <laughs> shooter, that's just for sure. Just don't foul. Just put your hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't, don't care. care. Yeah. If you're an OG Mac or a wannabe player. That's right. Three seconds to go. Four-point game. Rio Grande Valley will advance the basketball here with the timeout. But, yes, if you don't foul, this one should be over. A couple of... Groups of kids here tonight. People having a good time. There's another one. He's not a kid. He's having a good time. There's the kids. They are loving being on camera. And the Grizzlies are up 101 to 90 with 323 to go at FedEx Forum. Jared Jackson Jr. has 25 points. No John, no Dylan. Yep. No still problem. Not, still not over because they were just up 101 to 84. So the, the Lakers a little mini run. 20 points, 10 boards, 11 assists. LeBron James has a triple-double. Anthony Davis also has 20 points. Carmelo Anthony, who killed the Grizzlies last time with his 28 off the bench, only has seven. They put three, put point two seconds on the clock. It's 3.2. Inbound to Lamb. His three, no. Rebound. Gillespie has it. And the hustle. Get back-to-back -back wins over the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, who came in here 8-0. No. They will leave 8-2. and 121-117. One, 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 the final is the hustle. Move to 6-4 and four and keep themselves in the running for a spot in the Showcase Cup tournament in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks.